at night they go to a party, right? And guess oh, who's Lord. there? Yujiro, staring her ass down while she with her <laughs> man's at a party. And look at her, bro. She is look at her. It's like he's dicking her down with just his eyes. So then the husband. Oh my God! You know what? Yeah, I would. Then he just. I'm not even going. I'm not even going to hold CJ on that because that's exactly what I was thinking about too. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another reaction video by no other than CJ the Champ again, covering the most disrespectful moments of anime history. This is part two. And if you haven't checked out the rest of them, go ahead and check them out as well. But other than that, we're going to go and jump right into this. Let's get it. All right, let's see what we got in store. Oh, wrong one. Boy, that ass was good. Man, literally picked Whoa. up this big ass nigga with one hand and threw him across the floor and just punched him into the wall. So Baki's like, "All right, bro, enough is enough, nigga." So he comes running in just what to get in that the signature world? backhand. Literally spazzed his whole body out. Whoa, we, we, wow, we're gonna be in for something with this one. Ladies and All right. It is finally time for the most disrespectful moments in anime history, too. Now, you see, this right. one is going to be a little different. So usually, we would have multiple characters from multiple animes in the video. But today, we're going to be focusing on one character. Now, I know some of y'all okay. are probably wondering, CJ, why are you only focusing on one character in this vid? Well, uh... How do I put this? The man that we are about to talk about might damn well be the most disrespectful man in anime history. <clears throat> oh, Ladies and gentlemen, Yujiro Hanma is a wealthy black air force. Like, dog, this nigga's oh, on wow. daily timing 24-7. From slapping bitches to beating the fuck out of his own son. Nigga what? out here fighting a polar bear for fun. Like, this man's nickname is the strongest creature on earth. People Hold up. He said beating the mess out of his son? Like... You can't get no disrespect for them day. You know, like, good God, yo. This dude, boy. He, hell, I'm surprised he's not even, I'm surprised he's not even on the menace list. You know, for real. How they said creature instead of human. And I mean, bro, they ain't capping. Look at this nigga. This man got 0.01% body fat. A jawline gifted from Jesus himself. His back is a literal second torso. <laughs> Got a six pack on your back, nigga. Yeah, bro. Like th he ain't not telling no lies, yo. For real, that's exactly what I was thinking about. Like a six pack on your back, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. I would like to have my back to be like that, but I ain't trying to have no six pack though, bro. For real. Good. God, boy, six pack on your back. Yeah, I understand why they call him creature now. Like, if you get compared to Bigfoot's fat ass, you you use literally just I don't know, nigga. You just built different on oh, some freaky ass shit. Oh, but I can hear some of y'all already typing in the comment section right now. Hey, hey, yo, CJ, why that nigga not at the round table yet, cuz? Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> I know Yujiro has been the most requested person to be in the round table of Black Air Force activity. You know, some that's something we got to um, we got to meet up on too. We got to do that whole round table of Black Air Force. So that might be hit up next because the table is somewhat occupied from what we're seeing on the videos and stuff like that. But we got to hit up that round table. And I know a couple of people. There's a couple of them that's already at the round table that we already done seen. But yeah, we got to hit up that round table. Besides like guts. Well, you want to know why it took me so long to do this? Because you see, this man has done so much heinous ass shit that I cannot what? give him a regular trial. Like dead ass, I would run out of exhibits. So I was like, all right, bro. I'm just going to have to give him a whole most disrespectful moments in anime history episode to himself. Because this is the only way I could do okay. it. Because it's going to be a lot, bro. Like, I'm probably not even going to be able to add everything on here. So anything I leave off, just Good tell God. him. Just he did that much shit. So everybody sit back, relax, grab some popcorn. Grab some popcorn. Ones and, uh, let's get started. 
I know, right? So to understand the philosophy of Yujiro Hanma's disrespect, okay. movies, we have to go all the way back. So far back, the main character ain't even born yet. I'm talking about 1973 in the Vietnam War. This man was you serious? A whole ass war with his bare hands at the age of 16. Nigga. 16? It's like the equivalent of running around in war zone with your bare fists and just beating the shit out of everybody. Like this motherfucker took guerrilla warfare to a whole nother level on some pure ass Rambo type shit. So while he's in Vietnam, Good he God. This girl named Jane. And she out here trying to throw that ass back. She tried to seduce the hell out of this man. She like, you want to get laid, nigga? He ain't going for it. Or maybe you still haven't experienced a woman yet. And look at this man. He like, uh, bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> then he just turns around and walks away, bruh. Man, it's like, I'm not about this bullshit today. But she still keep on running her mouth. And, and see, the thing about it is, don't you, that's like, um, he is 16. So why are you running up on a 16 year old? But then again, it's like, what, 1970-something? So, I don't know. I mean, my thing is, that's kind of a little weird to me. And talking shit. So the moment she turned around, this man Yujiro came right behind her back and said, Shall I tear your skull out right here? Homie was dead ass about to peel the skin off of this Oh, look at her, she like, Damn, this nigga got two fingers in my mouth. Then this man just pimp slaps her like 20 yards, gave her a whole lecture, then walked out into the sunset. But nah, you thought this man was done in Vietnam? Nah, he was just getting started. This man goes on to kill a Good whole God, he already crazy already. Shit. And to disguise himself so he could enter the base, he ripped off the general's face and used it as a mask. So then this man just runs wild. Dude. Killing every single person in his path, busting through ceilings and shit. So ads on YouTube must be so annoying. <gasps> but with three clicks, yes, you can it's an annoying. And you'll never see ads again. But then Jane pops back up and she's like, listen, nigga, I got some TNT and I'm about to blow this bitch sky high. So while they're escaping, Yujiro stops. She's like, what the fuck, nigga, why you stop? And he just stands there and just eats the entire explosion. Then he pimp slaps old girl again. And he figures really? out that she's a whole ass UN agent named Diane that's leading him into a whole trap. So she tried to kill him. Really? Obviously, uh, that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. So how did he make her pay for this? Uh, well, what he do? He gave her that redo of the healer treatment. <laughs> So after he gives her the googlies, this man uses her as a body shield, then just kills everybody outside and breaks this nigga's neck with one hand. So all girl holds this man up at gunpoint, trying to kill really? him again. Then this man flashed the whole demon back at her and just look at her face, bruh. Just in pure shock. She like, damn. I'm really about to have that nigga's kid. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how Jack Honda was born. Oh, but guess what? That was just the first son. Shit, we gotta go over how the main character was born. <clears throat> Meet Emmy. Okay. Bucky's crazy ass, weird ass mom. Like, for a line, gonna count this bitch is weird as hell. But ladies and gentlemen, really? she always wasn't a crazy ass bitch. No, no, you see, back in the day, she was in a very happy relationship with a rich nigga. She was enjoying her life on a honeymoon. So then that night, they go to a party, right? And guess oh, who's Lord. there? Yujiro, staring her ass down while she with her <laughs> man's at a party and look at her bro she is look at her eyes it's like he's dicking her down with just his eyes so then the husband oh my god he you know what he, I was, and then he just i'm not even gonna, <laughs> i'm not even gonna hold cj on that because that's exactly what i was thinking about too <laughs> i'm not even gonna hold him on that because I mean, sometimes sometimes that look be getting females like that you know i'm not even gonna cap on that some females like that like that look boy they be looking like yeah you can get the business you know so you know i'm not even gonna front on cj on that one that's pretty much what it was it was what it was back up a little bit it's mesmerized it's like he's dicking her down with just his eyes so then the <laughs> husband just sees her just straight up staring at him and then he just slaps her ass god oh. damn in front of the party nigga so then this man really you jerome he's talking mad shit niggas like your fashion sense ass your cut ass your shoes ass your demeanor ass then he just throws a whole plate of soup on my nigga. So Yujiro's oh, like, you want to get mother. disrespectful? All right, I could get real disrespectful real quick. So he just leans in and kisses his wife. So homie gets really? mad. He's like, all right, bro, I'm going to let this dude handle you. But we all know th this nigga ain't going to do shit. So Yujiro just gives him the nastiest axe kick and just drills his face. Wow. Just completely one shot at home. Oh, on the head. Do it even more and giving his wife the old giddy giddies. So then this man goes back to his hotel all mad and shit because he got made to look like a whole ass beta male in front of his wife. So then he trying to take out his anger on his wife and shit. But this man Yujiro pulls up in the hotel. All and up behind her. Nowhere. Man is like, hey girl, I came to see you in homeboy's room. So then dude runs over to the phone all scared and shit like, hey yo security, where the fuck y'all niggas at? Somebody come help me. And well, uh, what? security. Oh, 
They gone. Them niggas knocked the fuck out. So old dude pulls a gun on him, but we all know what happens. We already know what's gonna happen to that. He grabs him with one hand, embraces his neck while still flirting at the same time. And look at her, she liked that. Oh, she a Oh my god. He like, listen, girl, let me give you this sweet talk real quick. I wanna break your back so goddamn hard right now. Shit, I might even break your back so goddamn hard. I might even kill you one day. Well, shadowing, yes. I have a worthy opponent in the future. And yeah. uh that's how Baki was born. So when Yujiro first makes his first appearance in the anime, this man is jumping out of a whole ass helicopter and just blasts himself into a room, not giving a f about property damage at all. So it comes in when Baki was fighting Hanayama. And look at that bro with a whole smile on his face. He's like, what's good, nigga? Homie deadass said, good, I made it in time. Looks like you just got started. Y'all niggas only got scratches right now. And the fight is already over. But this man Yujiro's like, nigga, if I don't see blood, the shit didn't even start. It ain't over. Straight up tells Baki, nigga, you off. And he's just laughing his ass off. So then Hanayama's like, all right, bro, I'll fight you. But my, my nigga, you shouldn't have said that shit. You shouldn't even say that, yo. For real. Man literally picked up this big ass nigga with one hand and threw him across the floor and just knocks him into the wall. So Good like, right, God, bro, yo, for enough, real. Nigga. So he comes running in just to get that signature back. Literally spazzed his whole body out. So before he leaves, he picks up Hanayama again. And he's like, let me get in one last lick. Then he punches his whole face and finish the job that he already finished. Then he's like, this was a waste of time. Y'all niggas are sorry. I'm leaving. <laughs> God, yo, this man is actually built different. So then he goes to see Emmy's crazy ass. <laughs> she just starts trying to beat him. Bro. What the he hell? Moving, bro. <laughs> then he just pushes her down and he's like, bitch, I told you to raise my son to be strong as hell. That nigga weak as fuck. So then she tried to shake him, but he was like, cut that shit out. <laughs> yo, this man is like completely ruined her mind. Like he must have blasted her brains out of something. So after all that goes down, he's like, all right, bro, I got to fight my dad at this point. So the night before the fight, Emmy's like, shit, let me go see what that nigga Ujiro doing real quick. So she's watching this man train in the hotel room, right? So she's the like, hell? let me touch up on that nigga. Then he just grabs her whole face <laughs> and just pushes her back. Look at this nigga. He's like, bitch. The fuck? I can't with hear you. Look, this is look. This is not CJ. I'm pretty sure this is not CJ. Um, foreshadowing that. That is the actual anime, and for him to actually do that to her after he's like training and stuff like that. I mean, come on, yo. Like he ain't even taking in the advances or nothing like that. He was like, look, just sit down, yo. He's about to. He he just. Boy, he's so disrespectful with this show. I see, I see why he has one by himself. Like, oh my god, yo, seriously, it's like, it's like disrespectful after disrespect after disrespect, yo, for real, for real. Like, I see why he got his own one. Don't approach me until I tell you to approach me. You better hope to God Baki can fight me no more, or else your ass is grass to me. So she like, I'll stay tonight. And he said, Nah, bitch, get the f out. Bro, look at her. This <laughs> nigga Yujiro has absolutely broken her mind at this point. This shit just starts beating up on Baki like, why won't he love me? Oh my god. I told y'all this bitch was weird. She out here beating up her own son because her husband won't love her. <laughs> shit. My boy Baki got the most fucked up family I've ever seen. Shit, I don't yeah. know who's more dysfunctional at this point. The Hanmas, the Mishimas, or the Skywalkers. So then Baki I know, and Yujiro right? finally fight, but... Dear God, bro, this was the worst ass whooping I've probably ever seen. This man was literally eating every single punch he threw at him, not even moving a muscle. And while he's just standing there, he's literally what complimenting the hold everybody for thank you for. Bro, like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Think a muscle. And while he's just standing. You mean to tell me that's it? <sighs> that's his little ass hopping around like a little flea. Tickling his father. He's supposed to be giving him more ass with him, but he's sitting out here basically patting him on his chest, massaging his muscles. That's basically what he's doing. He's not doing nothing. This dude's standing still like a tree. And yet, his son is like two, three times smaller than he is. Like, what the? What? What? He definitely about to get his tail whipped. Standing there, he's literally complimenting everybody for thank you for raising him like this, guys. Y'all actually made him kind of strong. So then this nigga's like, all right, bro, it's time to eat. So he just oh, my him. God, yo. He knocked him out and started beating his face into the ground over and over and over, constantly just beating the hell out of him. And everybody's just watching this like, God 
Damn, it's that nigga own son. So then the mom's like, all right, I've been being weird as f the whole time. This nigga's beating the f out of my son. So then she starts to swing on Yujiro, but dear God, baby. We already know so what they're going. biting him and shit. So then Yujiro what? gives her a whole bear hug, and he's like, remember when I told you that one day I might break your back so goddamn hard it might even kill you? Oh, my Today's God. Today, Here we bitch. go. This man really? actually killed his wife and beat the hell out of his son in one night. And after that, he's like, y'all niggas want to have fun too? He just starts beating the hell out of him. Oh him. my after god. He killed his wife and dead ass just beat the fuck out of his son. Yujiro just goes around just doing his daily life, doing his daily activities, just disrespecting people. Homie went up into a boxing gym, started throwing shit around, literally slapping this man's punches away. Throws his ass down and just beats everybody up at the gym. Bro, yo, Busted you serious? Prime Minister's office literally beat the brakes off of his entire security force. And while he was doing this, he took a break and smoked a cigarette. Like, look at them, bro. They surrounded him with riot shields and everything and couldn't do Free shit. Shuttle. Nigga just hit the dash. Breaks ah. both of their arms. Busts into his office and he's like, hey, nigga, your security is ass. And also, fuck your dad. And then we go into the next Oh one. my got god. He's like, bro, I gotta get revenge for this dude killing my mom. So when Yujiro's confront Jack, he's like, hey, nigga, you kind of strong. Now fight me, nigga. But then Baki comes in and he intervenes. So then Yujiro's like, nigga, if you don't get the fuck up on out of here, boy, I ain't got time for your soft ass connections, nigga. Man. So the same Archie fights Dopo, reveals his 1% body fat demon back, beats the living piss out of him, also taking the nigga's eye and knocks him out standing up. So after all that goes down. God knows, boy. Fight Muhammad Ali and shows him flicking his son across the planet. <laughs> like, bro, he sent that little nigga flying. Then he busts up in Baki's house and he's like, hey, nigga, I see you about to do hey, it with yo, your girl and shit. Fuck? Okay. Now, when you first see this and you're like, oh my god, this is the ultimate cock block. This man is literally standing over them while him and his girl are about to get it on. And he is dead ass encouraging them to do this shit. He's like, yes, Baki, blow her back out. Blow her back out like I did your mother. It'll make the you hell? stronger than ever. And I'm just watching that shit like, did this nigga just really encourage his son to beat the fuck out of her cheeks? Because it'll make him stronger? What in the hell? And then Baki's like, bruh, why are you in here, nigga? And yo, this man dead ass says this. You're pretty funny, you know that, kid? A girl sneaks into your room, comes on to you, and you tremble with fear. If that's your idea of closing the deal, I'll never be a granddad. <laughs> Yo, this man oh my god, yo. Every single hair and protagonist. So then this man's like, I give you my blessing, then just leaves. Oh my this god, yo. Eyesore. Oh yeah. That's weird as shit, yo. <laughs> so then we come to this fight with Multibe and Yanni. Now, Multibe has won the fight. He cut off old poison dude's hand and's like, hey, nigga, that's a wrap. Concede. Nigga, you lost. So then just out of the blue, this nigga Yujiro just comes out of oh nowhere. Oh, my God. Like, hey, nigga, what's cracking? So this man pulls his sword on him like he gonna do something. But then this man Yujiro does the most demoralizing thing I've oh, ever Lord, seen. Oh, Lord, what he do? He started laughing, grabbed his sword, and started breaking it into pieces one by one. What? Slowly. Look at this nigga's face. This is just the face of a uh, nigga. I'm fucked. That, that uh, just yeah. all of your confidence. That is like the biggest you ain't shit thing that you could ever do to somebody. So then this man Yujiro pulls up on Yanagi and he's like, hey nigga, you lost. So then Shibukawa pulls up and he's like, hey bro, what the fuck are y'all doing out here? It's late as hell. Then Yujiro's like, shit nigga, you right. I'm tired. I'm going home. But not at the mm -hmm. Got your stupid Ooh. ass. Yo, he just blasted his face. Homie knocked the f out and just Good it up. God. Like dead ass said, you didn't lose, so that meant you were up for my challenge. Man literally had to get in one lick before he left. So then we get to the right tie tournament. <sighs> and Lord have mercy. Ooh, no, have to this part so hard. This man ripped off this nigga's <laughs> face. He literally what? dug his fingers into his face and flung that shit and just straight up busted his face. Then he threw his face into the crowd. Oh my God, that's fucking disgusting. But after that, homie comes for round two, but nigga, why would you come for round two against this nigga? And then Yujiro you just blasts the kick into his face. Finally, to I guess finish the job. I mean, the job was already finished, but shit, he had to finish it again. So then he sees Baki backstage and he's like, dad, I think I could take you now. <laughs> this man Yujiro was looking at him like, Really, nigga? Just throws him through the wall. Man was like, you ain't shit and you still ain't shit. 
So then he fights God, old bro. OG for the last fight. And I ain't gonna lie, old OG was landing some punches. Mm. But this nigga Jiro did not care that he was beating the fuck out of a senior citizen. Cause God damn, he was whooping that ass. I mean, even though that the senior citizen dropped him. Homie pulled out that demon back and there you got it was a wrap. Made the motherfucker kick the bucket in the middle of the fight. Somehow that man came back to life. I don't know if they got the Dragon Balls or some shit, but that's one lucky ass OG, I'll tell you that. Well, uh, I guess God. all the evidence just goes ahead and uh, just proves it that uh, my man Yujiro has finally entered the round table of Black Air Force activity. Like, I think it might be safe to say that this man might be the most disrespectful man in anime history. I mean, he don't care if you man or woman, child or senior citizen. He beating the shit out of your ass. His hands exactly. are dead ass ready to eat for everyone. So yeah, e he's finally everyone. in the round table of Black Air Force activity. Ugh, yo, this video damn near took forever to make. So yeah, uh, that's the most disrespectful moments in anime history. Damn, to the yo, that split. Special. This man is a certified walking black Air Force. So, yeah, uh, that's it, and uh, I'm out this hoe. Bro, like, I do not want to piss him off, for real. Yujiro, man, I'm not pissing him off, for real, for real. And my thing is, okay. If I if he was my father, man, I'd be intimidated like shit. Like this dude walking up to him, talking about saying, "Yeah, I can take you." He cannot take him. He's taller than him. He's bigger than him. Why the hell are you sitting up here? Unless you actually been doing a whole lot of training, you you boy, you better just leave that mess alone with your father and just take it, chalk that up as an L, and then move on. And try to be stronger or something, cause that right there, boy. Mm -mm. He like he been he been that guy since he was sixteen, and I don't even know how old he is. In the last episode of in the last part of this video or whatever, so he probably I know he way older and everything, but still he got them hands and he got that demon eyes back, you know. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm out this thing. You know, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, you know, stay tuned for extra videos that's coming up this week because I will be having more videos and check out the gaming channel as well because brother got some games and I'm trying to spread the word out on for that. So, you know, drop in on the gaming channel. I'll be trying to drop um, information like little posts here and there on this channel, letting you know that I am going live. So, you know big ups to those and you know look out for them without further ado i'm out this thing see you in the next video peace